And post-match, uh, it was put to him that uh, in the past, holding on to a lead is what you've been so good at doing. Mourinho replied, same coach, different players. Yep. Which seemed to see him almost casually throw his players under a bus. Oh, really? and, and now as a result of that, Sammy Mobile in the, in the mail this morning is saying Tottenham players were enraged oh, yeah. by Mourinho's comments following Sunday's draw at uh, Newcastle. Which ones? Because Mourinho was asked why his first side were so vulnerable late on in games when he, he's a manager whose teams uh, usually have hung on to slender leads. Same coach, different players. And the answer apparently sparked huge irritation amongst members of the squad oh, yeah. who feel the manager threw them under under the bus to protect uh, himself from <laughs> criticism. Now, Henry in the Times, and I don't think he's wrong here, Simon. He's giving it balance, and he and he's treating it absolutely right. And who am I to tell Henry Winter of all people how to go about his job? Oh, yeah. Henry says he possessed Mourinho acclaimed people skills during his first spell at Chelsea, yep. getting the lights of Lampard to rise even higher yep. because he filled them full of self belief. Mm -hmm. Now, Mourinho is still demanding, but without charisma and understanding of how to conjure the best out of players that once made him special. According to the well-versed in football management, having done it himself, Henry Winter. Come on, Jim. Look. Well, not just Henry. Sammy Botbuck, Matt well, Law. Fine. Look. And first, we all saw first, it for and first and foremost, which Spurs are we Proper play, journalists. Which Spurs players are we talking about? The ones that may be marginalised by Mourinho or the ones that are in the first team? We don't know. We've got to be as ambiguous as Meghan Markle's observations. So let's look at the reality of what's being alleged of Mourinho. Someone asks him a question, OK? He gives a factual answer. It's a factual answer. A factual answer. But Same coach, different players. Well, that's factual, isn't it? What happens, what, Josie, what happens to teams that you used to be very good at defending a lead? Same coach, fact. Different players, fact. You want to turn that into some sinister, macabre, pretentious observation of throwing his players under the bus. The same players, by the way, that he defends quite regularly, but that doesn't get written about in quite the same uh, That's flourishing absolute style. absolute nonsense. How can you prove that? Because I've seen the articles. That's absolute nonsense. I, I, I've seen these headlines. We don't see the headlines saying Spurs delight when Mourinho's praising his players. And the same players, by the way, that were an at absolute disgrace against Dinamo Zagreb suddenly now are furious because their coach has made a factual observation. A bunch of perennial losers that haven't won anything, that have been knocked out of FA Cup semi-finals regularly, that have got to Champions League finals and stunk the tournament final out, that should have won the league when Leicester City won it, maybe, just maybe, there should have been a change. I'm not suggesting that this constant negative reinforcement at times of points from Mourinho is the right way to go but to suggest that Mourinho who has won something at every single club oh, yeah, with, hold on yeah. hold on but it's a matter of fact you don't like that matter of fact but it's a matter of oh, fact dearie. he's been at, no but he has won something at every single club every but, but single Sammy, club break it he's, down to this. he's gone to Henry's Tottenham right. and Tottenham aren't good enough why does Mourinho protect his own reputation when he should be protecting his players. But that's an assumption. And again, I, and no one's saying that that's he's a busted That's an assumption. Flush. The, it, it, the fact well, they he, are. No, they're not. And he's Henry, not in this article. Henry Winter says in his article, all this calling out of players seems unnecessary and self-defeating. Why do it? Why do it? But, Mourinho's still a good but, manager. But he hasn't, the busted flush narrative is nonsense. He hasn't called out his players. He was asked what? the He was asked the question. Same coach, different players. Well, it's a fact, isn't it? Well, why are they up in arms about it? So who says they are? Some snob gobbling journalist that turns around and says that maybe it's peripheral players that aren't in the team. You know the facts that players don't like it when they're not being picked, that they've got an agenda to serve out. Who are these players that we're talking about? Won't name them because they can't name their sources. So the Daily Mail's got it wrong, the Times has got no, it wrong, they've got their view. the Telegraph has they've, got it wrong. Hold on, they've got a view. The alternative side of that argument is, have they got it right? Well, okay, is that the binary assumption then? Well, because they haven't made it up. Well, have they got it right? Is, they is, made it is, up. is Mourinho's style of management divisive, disingenuous, and all about himself, or has it won him? And the Frank Lampard That's example. Manchester Frank United Lampard fans. example is just crap because Frank Lampard was an honest player that gave his best in every single game and was entitled to the narrative of being built up. Why do you somebody, defend Mourinho like somebody this? Somebody Spurs every players time. because it's a media bias about oh. the reality of what Mourinho does and doesn't do. A do media I, bias. Do I agree? Why would the media? be even remotely interested in having an agenda against Mourinho. Because Mourinho divides opinions. Mourinho doesn't say... That's not answering the question. Well, it is. Why I mean, have they got well, it, it is, in for Mourinho, it is. in other words? Because Mourinho... In your view. Because Mourinho holds people to account. Mourinho does things differently. He doesn't play the game nicely Should at he times. Should he hold himself to account? 
Well, yes, after the two-two draw uh, at Newcastle, of course he does. So why didn't he? But the fact of the matter is, he so was, why didn't he? Hold on, Jim. He was asked a question about something that he was synonymous with, which is teams that don't give up leads. How was he supposed to ask the question? By the way, why do our national sides never win anything? Why do we never win anything? Because maybe the character the media want is people constantly giving these players an excuse, constantly giving them no no backbone or only being able to praise. Might explain why the only reason we actually win anything in Europe is because we've got a boatload of foreign players inside our leagues that aren't polluted by the institutional thinking of English players. Would it not How be better that? if Mourinho assumes as much responsibility as his players for that 2-2 draw at St James's Park. So when they, when they stank the place out against Dynamo Zagreb and he apologised on behalf of himself and the players, was that him taking responsibility or was we it... We saw saying, what he did, Simon. We saw what he did out, so you in, can't, uh, you're, so you're, you're, out in Serbia. So your refusal to... He ex- immediately went straight he went, so he went your into, refusal, so in Croatia. He immediately went into the so other when, dressing room to show magnanimously, so when he talks, you guys deserve it. So when, when he talks about... And I'm not defending Mourinho here because I think lots of things he does wrong. You're not defending Mourinho. Sorry, say that no, again. I'm providing a balanced argument, which is not, which is not, what's, which <laughs> is you, not, which is, earth are which you is not what's required here. Right? So when Mourinho, he's, do you accept he's throwing ho- his players under ho- a bus? No, I don't. When when I when I hear Mourinho praising his players as I have done this season, do I hear this media furore saying, "Look at Mourinho praising his players"? No, I do not. It's accepted as a given. When he comes out. And he says something that the media decides is throwing his players under the bus. Wallop. Crash. Like a ton of bricks. Mourinho's divisive. He's disingenuous. He doesn't do what Klopp does. He doesn't do what Guardiola does. He doesn't do this. Arteta, ba- Arteta was throwing his players under the bus on Saturday. He wasn't pulling back Simon, on what his players Simon, said. Do. It's nonsense, you know Jim. with Mourinho this is a different... It's media bias. It's a different case. No, it's not. It's, it's a me- different It's case. media bias There's based a upon his personality. pattern that appears. It's media bias. And the pattern is emerging. The it's, pattern is it, emerging. What pattern? Of the media consistently highlighting the negative Same and coach, never promoting the different positive. players. This, this team, it's a fact. So, in other words, what does that phrase mean? Same coach, different players. In other words, fact. same coach. I'm Mourinho. Yeah. I'm as good as I always was. Yeah. Just different players. Correct. These players aren't receiving my message. Clearly, okay. they're, clearly they're not. So, because, because, because that? in part his, in part the players. So, right. are you are you are you suggesting that by the very nature of everything he says? excludes himself from any responsibility because I don't get that impression and by the way I'm not a Mourinho acolyte I thought at times at Man United he was dark and divisive staying in a hotel that suited him he didn't want to be in Manchester he wanted to be in London I get all that but to just pile on and suggest that there is a way of doing things and Mourinho has got it wrong people talk about the right to be able to manage is based upon your historic achievements you cannot beat this guy's achievements mm. he's won and I tell you something as well I would not be surprised if they beat Man City in that League Cup final, I would not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't project it or 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 or, or, or suggest. I wonder if they lose gonna... badly, who will cop for it? Well, well, we'll see when it happens, won't mm. we? But mm. the point is, is if they beat Man City, in if. That, if if Spurs who are now sixth in the league win the League Cup, what would you say then? Listen, that's it, all, it's, in all, it's, all hypo- it's all hypothetical. In spite of Mourinho, no, it's not hypothetical. What happened on it's, Saturday it's not night? Hypothetical, really? Because it's a they're, pattern they're, that emerges, and the Mail, the Times, the Telegraph, and others are and not. I, and I guarantee wrong you, and I guarantee you, think and it's I, a media bias. And I guarantee you, there'll be media the, bias. The, the, I guarantee what do you. you actually, what do you actually think happens with a media bias? Does Henry phone Matt Law, who phones Sammy Mockbone, and say, "Right, you're going to do this. No, I'm no, going to no, do no, it. You're going to do it. I think let's all do it together. A united front here, so that we can show that we're." I think there are three journalists. Simon Jordan on Tuesday in Talk Sports is a media agenda. I think they Do have, we care? Not really. I think there are three journalists that hold the same view, that trot the same sentiments out. So I'm not suggesting that ad infinitum the media is biased. Those representatives yeah. in the media have a certain perspective about Mourinho. Yes, Henry is far more balanced than other people are. Mm. But by the same token, to give examples to prove your point doesn't mean balance. If you bring Frank Lampard out and you compare him to some of the tosh that they've got in Tottenham's midfield that need to kick up the jacksie, that's a ridiculous <laughs> example. <laughs> Luke, if you can find a copy of it, Journalism for Beginners, can you send <laughs> Good. it through? I don't want to be a journalist. It's <laughs> third-hand information. Give it to old Media Agenda Boy. What do journalists know? What somebody else told them. I said that two or three years ago. Come.